So hi everyone. So we are here in Pitakpikba. I miss this mall. I've been there many many times. Because we have appointment for today. So let's see. Pray for me guys that it's gonna be okay. Pray for me guys. Because we have a court appointment. <sighs> I do everything for my kids. That's why. I did this because this is for my kids and for me. My, uh, wow, look bills. at that view. The my bills. sky. So let's go so guys. Samahan nyo kami. Pupunta ka tayo dyan sa building na yan. Ang tawag po dyan guys is family court ng Pitaktik ba. So, wala kasi nga family court sa uh, Natanya. So, ayan, dumayo kami dito sa Pitaktik pa. And here we go. We're waiting for our turn. And itong room na to, dito kami papasok guys. And I'm so amazed. Ang laki dito. Ang laki talaga. Nagagandahan ako dyan sa uh, wall nila because it's written sa Bible verses. So, yun lang. So hi guys, I just want to share why we went to Pitaktik but it's because we have a court hearing for our prenup. So okay, why we file the prenup? Uh, yung prenup po guys, it's not bad. It's not bad talaga. Why? Because uh, prenup is to protect your own property. Ganun yun. And also, hindi ibig sabihin na you sign a prenup, hindi ka mahal ng lalaki. Of course, guys, in our case, sa amin ni David, uh, David has a property here in Israel. He own an apartment and uh, he needs to protect that apartment for the first marriage. Dahil may anak sila. So, nag-sign kami ng prenup na uh, wala akong any rights doon sa apartment because hindi yun sa amin. And also, kung ano yung property ko from the Philippines, he don't have any rights of it. So, wala din siyang right doon. So, finally guys, <laughs> nakuha namin yung aming prenup. And ito yon guys, signed by the judge or stamped by the judge. Not by lawyer or notario, it's by the judge talaga guys. So, may nagkaroon kami ng hearing doon. Oh my goodness, it's like a real... Like yung nasa court ka talaga. So, ito yun guys. Uh, Nakastam na siya. By the judge. So, dito kasi sa Israel, hindi English. Hindi sila English. Ang written dito is Hebrew. So, ang nangyari guys, uh, pag nagpa-file kayo ng uh, prenup, dapat naintindihan mo kung ano yung laman ng prenup. Sa amin, Tinatry lang talaga namin. Tinatry lang namin guys. Kasi most sa mga tao or dito sa Israel talaga. Uh, pag nag-sign sila ng prenup. Kung ikaw ay isang Filipina, you need to translate it into English. Kasi hindi mo naintindihan yung Hebrew nila letter. So ganito. Ito yung uh, Hebrew letter. He Hebrew letter to siya guys. So, ang nangyari, talagang tinatry lang namin ng asawa ko na mag-file, you know. Because uh, kung hindi naman, i-reject naman ng, ng judge, we don't have choice kundi i-translate yung uh, prenup, prenup paper into English. Ganun talaga. So, uh, the good thing is, inexplain sa amin ng lawyer. Kumuha kami ng lawyer, lawyer yung gumawa ng prenup namin. Uh, inexplain sa akin ng lawyer kung ano yung laman ng prenup. And then, nag, nag, ano lang kami guys, nagbabaka sakali lang talaga kami, natanggapin nung, ano, nung judge. So, what happened is, pagdating namin doon sa, sa judge, nung in-interview na kami dalawa ni asawa, ang nangyari is tinanong niya lahat. Uh, sabi niya sa akin, do you speak Hebrew? And I told him no. Do you know how to read Hebrew? And I said no, I don't know nothing about the Hebrew. And then he said, and then why you signed a prenup if you don't know how if you don't know how to write and how to speak so i told him uh, inexplain inexplain na sa akin ng lawyer namin kung ano yung laman ng prenup 
So, ang nangyari, sabi niya sa akin, give me some of the example kung ano yung nakaritten dito sa prenup. So, sinabi ko lahat-lahat and finally, God, finally, guys, very thankful because tinanggap niya yung prenup and hindi na kami kailangan mag uh, translation kasi ang mahal every words yung translation ng prenup. And tinanggap niya lahat-lahat yon and I'm so happy and blessed talaga, guys, kasi hindi na kami nag ano nag uh, nag translation ulit at mag alam mo another payment ang mahal kaya ng translation ng prenup kasi Hebrew to English word by word yung translation ng ng ano ng dito ng prenup so i'm so happy talaga guys na tatapos na namin yung prenup so the prenup it's not uh, hindi po ako doon uh, talunan because uh, ano lang yun it protection sa bawat properties namin. So, ang mangyayari, kung ano yung nabili namin since nung nag-start yung relationship namin ng asawa ko, doon ako my rights. But, yung property niya, na wala pa ako sa buhay niya, I don't have any rights of that. And the same then sa side ko na, he don't have any right sa property kung ano ang nabuild ko nung dalaga pa ako. So, hindi po masama ang mag-sign ng prenup. <laughs> Kasi yung iba ka ta talaga is ini-issue nila na bakit tayo mag-sign ng prenup? Hindi talaga ganun, guys. Kasi hindi po, uh, hindi natin ang kinin kung, kung hindi tayo kasama doon. Ganun, ganun. So, uh, I'm, I'm very agree sa prenup talaga. Wala akong any bad comments sa prenup. So, I'm just happy, guys. Kasi natapos namin ang prenup and we are going to proceed na na i-pick up namin yung aming engagement ring at saka wedding ring para tuloy-tuloy na tayo. So, uh, for my next video, i-pick up namin yung aming wedding ring and ang aming ano, in ang engagement ring namin. So, that's for today's video, guys. Ikikwento ko sa inyo kung bakit ganun sa aking uh, another video. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye! And here's the view, guys. Ang ganda ng Pitaktikva talaga. As in, 6 years akong nag-work dito before ako nag-asawa. So, still the same. Maganda pa din siya. So, bye for now, Pitaktikva. And see you next time. I hope makabalik kami ulit dito. But maybe soon. God bless!